So as you know, I've been down in the States all week and my favorite stop of the week in Syracuse was the morning we went and we had breakfast at Mother's Cupboard. Mother's Cupboard, at a glance, is a dilapidated shack. It's not pretty to look at it all from the outside. If you're passing it on the road, you might not even give it a second thought, except for one thing. It's always got a lineup of people waiting outside the door for a table. That's all you need to know, right? And that's everything that you need to know. So yeah. the, place is, the place is family owned and it's literally the same staff working there today that I first met almost 15 years ago when I first started going. They've watched my son as he's gone from being just five weeks old from the first time we were there to over five now and actually ordering off the menu himself. Awesome. Um, they don't know our names, but they know we're from Canada. I'm mentioning as much every time they see us, even remembering that despite the fact we hadn't been there in over two years due to the border shutting down when we finally went back a few months ago. They were like, oh my goodness, you guys are back. That leaves such an impression, doesn't it, that they have that recall. Maybe not your name, whatever else, but you're a familiar face. And, and if they've got, they've got that kind of customer volume, it's even more impressive. I love that. Good for Absolutely. them. Absolutely. And, and that's, that's one of the reasons that we love it so much. But... So for, first of all, the breakfast portions, John, are absolutely insane. A single pancake, and I'm not joking, is the size of a vinyl record, and it's like an inch. Yes. Now, I'm not there for the pancakes. That's that's what I leave for my son. I'm there for the okay. frittata because the frittata is legendary. Now, I get mine without egg because I don't eat egg, and you might be like, hey, hang on. The egg is the essence of a frittata. Not this one. Seasoned potatoes broccoli, sausage, peppers, onions, pepperoni, and shredded cheese to bind everything together. What is they don't, wrong with you? They don't even flinch when I say no egg. It's pretty common because the no, entire no, thing you, is so you, hard. You, you said broccoli. Broccoli is no. Then get it without the broccoli. You can make any substitution that you want to. People make substitutions on the frittata all the Breakfast. time. Breakfast. If I have to do broccoli dinner, fine. Breakfast, hard no. Okay, well then again, get it without. I will never bring broccoli up for breakfast again, Chris. I will if I feel like it because I love broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> I, when it, whenever I order it, I get the quarter frittata, which comes with toast, and it's enough food to last me for three meals. So I take the excess home. That big, eh? Wow. The whole frittata, which is just a couple of dollars more, it is a ridiculous amount of food. It would last me for an entire week, and I'm not joking. It is six pounds of food. John, how do they make money do, like giving you portions like that? Come on. If you eat the entire thing in a single sitting, you get your picture on the wall and a t-shirt uh, says that, hey, you beat the, the whole challenge. Uh -huh. And the wall is loaded with pictures of college students yeah, of who have accomplished the beat. <laughs> See, as well as college a, students it's not filled with guys your age and my age it's well there, there's a few brave adults in our yeah, age yeah. range there's uh, always a couple but yeah no it's most it, i mean syracuse is a college town it's, that's that's true in there but, true um, well, orangeman right yeah. that, that's right they've got adam richmond from man versus food who has his photo on the wall as well he got it done back in like 2009 or something like that so it's uh it's a known challenge but everything is so hearty and it's made fresh they prep everything there daily and it's such good food they have the usual breakfast plates with eggs meat and toast home fries their sausage and gravy over biscuits is super tasty if you like a traditional but very heavy southern style breakfast Sounds uh, like me keep the broccoli out of that please <laughs> pancakes and waffles in all styles they've got it from plain to super fancy noah loves the pancakes with the chocolate and marshmallows that come on it that one's his favorite and since we're on vacation Ooh. it's allowed Ooh. Ooh. um but here, here's the best part. On top of being one of the very best breakfasts I have ever had at any restaurant, everyone is eating for about $10, Sean. Their biggest frittata with all that food is like 15 bucks. Like I Imagine said, that. how are they making money doing this? I don't know. It's six Volume, I guess. pounds of breakfast. Jeez. And you, their coffee and their soda is unlimited refills. You know, one of those massive pancakes are like $6 per pancake. Uh, they even sell lunch daily as well. Same deal. Good hearty food that's not going to leave a hole in your wallet. You can get I was it. just going to ask, is it strictly a breakfast place? So they do a lunch as well. They do a lunch. So yeah, you can get a BLT, hot turkey, roast beef, you know, a fresh smashed burger. Everything's about 7 or $8. And you can add fries for a couple dollars more. Soups and chilies, $4 each. This for me is the ultimate diamond in the rough spot because if you're judging the book by its cover, you're doing yourself a massive disservice with this place because it, it, it ain't pretty at all. The staff, super sassy. They're a bunch of, you know, tatted up, absolutely beautiful Perfect. people. And I love everyone who works there. They're all chatty. They're super engaged with the customers. And because the kitchen's wide open, like the action is literally happening right in front of you. There's bar stools at the front and the cooks are right in front of it. Yep. You can talk to anybody from the waitresses to the cooks. Everybody there's wonderful. So. If you're in the Syracuse area, this is a must stop as far as I'm concerned. It's Mother's Cupboard at 
3709 East James Street. Open every single day, seven days a week from 6 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. And prepare to wait about 20 to 30 minutes for a table, but it's worth every damn second of waiting. I'm telling you now, if you go to the Denny's down the street, I am judging you like there is no tomorrow because there is food <laughs> that is 10 times the quality for half the price. I'm judging you as well. This place sounds fantastic. Thanks for bringing it, bringing it to our attention. See, I'm salivating now. I can't even talk. Chris Father Gilbrown, his entire YouTube channel, uh, is great food information like this. Some of it might, you know, make you a little squeamish, uh, but it's absolutely worth a subscribe. YouTube.com slash that's rank. <laughs>